you have many grades of spinal cord injury, like ranging for like uh, small disabilities, like in terms of uh, uh, doing like uh, movements, but it can also range to like staying bound to a, to a wheelchair for the rest of your life. So really the range of disabilities is really, uh, really broad. And currently there are many different approaches in the, in the field. In our lab, our strategy is a bit different because we said, okay, you have an, an injury and then we say, okay, let's use what is left, what is spared by the, the lesion. Because in most of the cases in human, a little part of the tissue is spared after the injury. So we said, okay, let's take advantage of this spared tissue to, uh, to um, allow the brain to get access to the spinal cord after the lesion again. And for this, uh, we developed a combination of uh, electrical stimulation of the spinal cord combined with pharmacological stimulation. Compared to a uh, classic histological technique when working on like uh, brain and spinal cords uh, very thin slices, is that when you work in 2D, in 2D images, you can't get the whole picture of what is going on. And it's true that uh, with clarity, actually, we have been uh, uh, scanning few samples lately, and then we have been able to, uh, to see like uh, uh, fiber tracks that we were not able to visualize in 2D sections. When the um, X-Lite system came, came up on the market like a few, few, few years ago, uh, before we were using uh, only uh, like uh, passive clearing and then it took us like uh, weeks and months to clear uh, samples. And now since this new uh, system came out, like in like within like six, seven hours, you can clear an entire brain. So for <laughs> it brings like obvious uh, uh, obvious advantage is like uh, it saves time to people and we were able to, to image like larger set of uh, brain and spinal cord in a relatively uh, short amount of time and then uh, um, by this we could really see like very quickly what is the benefit of our uh, approaches on, uh, on spinal cord uh, networks after the, the injury. Because you can imagine with this system to follow uh, the course of an axon coming from the motor cortex down to the lumbar spinal cord. So you can really imagine to have in 3D the course of a, a single or several axons, you know, when they go around a, a lesion, for, for instance, or this kind of, uh, of images is something like this unique at the moment. So that's why this uh, technique is really exciting.